Hey guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see we're an ultimate team and today we have an 89 rated upgraded foot fantasy heroes Peter Crouch review for you guys. So he's 6 foot 7 tall, medium medium work rates, right footed primarily with 5 star skills and unfortunately a 3 star weak foot but he is pretty cheap coming in at just over 80,000 coins. He can start a striker and centre forward, he's got the hero links, of course he's a hero and he is English with the Premier League links as well. Heading into the attribute details, I've gone with the Hunter Cancel obviously to boost the pace as much as I possibly can. So the pace is going to go up to 94, shooting on the card does look insane with the Hunter Cancel, attack positioning goes up to 94, finishing is maxed out, shot power goes up to 92, long shots at 87 is more than good enough, volleys gets maxed out and so do the penalties. Passing on the card is your average striker passing, but the long passing is pretty solid at 80 as well. Short passing looks fantastic at 90. The dribbling for someone who is 6 foot 7 tall does not look too bad at all. With the 5 star skills, I'm expecting Nuthan's dribbling to be actually pretty decent. He's got 89 ball control and reactions with 91 composure. Heading accuracy is the highest stat on the card at 99. Physical looks pretty good as well, 86 stamina, 87 strength and 81 aggression along with decent jumping for someone who is 6 foot 7 tall. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 89 rated foot fantasy heroes Peter Crouch and starting off with an assist, jumps up, knocks it down and Harvey Elliott does get us the first assist of this video but showcasing pretty much what Crouch is good at. You're in a tight spot, you don't know where to get the ball, just knock it up to him and he'll win the header and knock it down to a teammate. But there, just the first goal of this video, a tap in, I'm expecting him to score that 10 times out of 10. And on the volley, he takes a swing at it, but good awareness still to run into the space and he's able to tuck it away at the end of it. Moving on, Harvey Elliott with some ridiculous dribbling, Crouch eventually makes it run, peels off into the space, does very well to cut inside and he places that shot beyond the goalkeeper into the far post. Moving on to the next match of this video, Jota gets it into Elliott who gives it back to Jota. Now can Crouch move it on to Jota? Yes he can, that is a very good pass, just thinks it over the top and in behind and Diogo Jota goes ahead and tucks it away. On to the next assist for Peter Croucher, Jota with some good dribbling, he's denied. Crouch is able to make that interception with his long legs, puts in a beautiful cross actually, I'm not expecting him to be able to put that cross in at all. But surprisingly he does, we get a bit lucky to get the assist, but it is an assist nonetheless. Speaking of lucky assists, this one might even be better than the last one. This guy, I'm not too sure what on earth he's doing with his goalkeeper, gives us the ball and Peter Crouch with a quick reverse pass into Jota, who's able to volley it into the back of the net. Heading into the second half of this game, Harvey Elliott has it, takes it into Peter Crouch maybe a little wider than I would have hoped, but regardless we can still get an assist from here. Perfect pass on the 3 star we could find Scott McTominay who smashes that into the top corner. By the way, I will be making a review on Scott McTominay. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comment section and you shall receive. Moving on to the next match here, McTominay finds Harvey Elliott, Crouch immediately makes a run through and in behind, goes to the finesse shot and he tucks it away. I say he immediately made the run through, he did immediately make the run, but he ran so slowly that you could only notice it towards the end when Harvey Elliott made that pass through to him. Moving on then to the next clip, pretty much straight after that, um, Cole gets that pass into Peter Crouch as well to win the header, just knocks it down once more for Harvey Elliott to get that into the McTominay. Crouch is making the run, that's a good pass, that's a great touch and that is a beautiful finish. Just dinks it over the goalkeeper on the three star weak foot which doesn't really feel like a 3 star weekly, that's the second goal that's managed to score on it so far and you guys can clearly see the finishing on this card is very reliable and so is the passing, another assist chair in the background slips it in behind for Jota who tucks it away into the back of the net good finish from Diogo Jota but a great pass once more from Peter Crouch heading on to the next clip here, Jota is through on goal, Crouch is running alongside him doesn't really Peel away from the defender, but this guy just gives us the ball, and Crouch is able to well get pretty much an easy tap in in this video and a pretty spastic celebration to match it. Moving on then to the next clip of this video, the next match actually. Diogo Jota has it, gets that pass out wide into Javier Zanetti. Zanetti gets that into Javier. Crouch makes it run, beautiful pass, and a scissor kick finish into the back of the net. Keeper stands no chance, a acrobatic, flareful attempt of a strike from Peter Crouch. And he does tuck it away. He was able to score quite a few bicycle kicks in his time. That's something he didn't score. Was free kicks. Can we score this in this game? Almost all power. Inside foot curled. Goals for goal. And he finds the top corner. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely ridiculous free kick there. 
from Peter Crouch. You guys could physically see that ball swell in Mane. As you guys can see here, again, finds the top corner. Keeper stands no chance. I will revisit that in just a second, but just to finish off the highlights of this match. Crouch gets it. Outside foot shot this time, and he finds the back of the net once more. Honestly, this guy's shooting is absolutely ridiculous. Just take any shot with him, even free kick surprisingly, and he will find the back of the net. Just revisiting that ridiculous free kick goal. Inside foot called. He hits it. I wouldn't say too hard, but the swerve on it, as you guys can see here, is absolutely ridiculous. A little knuckleball type of swerve on it. Keeper sends absolutely no chance. And like I said, that was the last match of this video. And with that being said, it is time to review the card. So as you guys can see from the player bio on the card, in six games, he has managed eight goals and six assists, which is absolutely sensational. More than a goal per game and assist per game is absolutely ridiculous. More than two goal contributions a game is absolutely fantastic especially in division rivals everyone trying to get wins playing all sweaty and this guy was able to produce those numbers from a striker position is absolutely fantastic his hold up play his ability to create chances for teammates is sensational i will talk more on that in just a second heading into the attribute details pace does deserve in my opinion an 8.9 out of 10. although he's got the hunter cams out he's six foot seven dollars he doesn't feel as fast as his pace says with the hunter cams out like 94 pace for example but I am going to give him an 8.9 out of 10. He doesn't feel like someone with more than 90 pace, but he is definitely fast enough to get him behind. Now, when it comes down to the shooting, the shooting is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and give him a 9.4 out of 10. I think the finishing is spectacular. Long shots are solid. And he can obviously take free kicks as well, which is a huge plus and a huge surprise. So when it comes down to the shooting, I think he does deserve, like I said, a 9.4 out of 10. Passing is very good. The short passing being 90 is kind of like a hidden gem on this card because you don't expect his passing to be good, especially with him having 81 passing as a face stat. But this guy's short passing, his interplay, his ability to link up with teammates is absolutely sensational. And he's kind of like Firmino in that sense in terms of being able to dribble and lay the ball off to teammates at just the right moment. He's also got 80 long passing, which like I said, is not too bad at all at the start of the video. So passing gets an 8.5 out of 10. Dribbling, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a 9 out of 10. I do think he deserves it. With the 5 star skills, he feels pretty fun on the ball as well. And he does have the physical side to his game where if someone tries to tackle him while dribbling, yet alone using his height, he will use his strength and aggression to hold him off, as well as the 5 star skills that he does have. So dribbling gets a 9 out of 10 and physical gets an 8.6 out of 10. I do think he's strong. He doesn't need to jump, so that doesn't matter. And he does last a full 90. However, going into extra time, you will have to take him off without a doubt. So physical gets an 8.6 out of 10. Now, best position, 100% striker, best camp style, I would say, is the Hunter camp style. You want to boost that pace as much as you can. Physical is perfectly fine, passing is perfectly fine, and so is dribbling. If you think he's a little clunky, you could give him the engine camp style. But, like I said, I think boosting the pace as much as possible is the right way to go with this card. So, is this card worth the 80,000 coins you'd pay for him? 100%. This guy's a bargain, actually. For 80,000 coins, I wasn't expecting him to be good, especially at this stage of the game. But honestly, he surprised me and he surprised your position as well. So genuinely, this Peter Crouch can do it all. I 100% recommend him for your team. And with that being said, I do bring an end to this video. If you like it, smash a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.